Hello kids, it's Janet here. I'm going to read you a story from out of the Bible. It's a story right at the beginning of the Bible about a man called Isaac. Now, Isaac had to move and he had to move all his family and all their animals and they had hundreds of sheep and cows and they had lots of people who worked and helped Isaac look after all the animals. So it was a lot of work and they moved to another place and they found a nice place. They thought, oh, there's some nice grass here. Let's stay here, but we need water for our animals. So what will we do? And they decided they would dig a well. Have you, do you know what a well is? It's a very, very long, long, deep, deep hole down into the ground. And at the bottom, when you dig down, there's some water. And then you have a bucket and you put the water, they send the bucket down the big, long, deep hole there. And then you pull the bucket up and there's water in it. And you tip it into another container and the sheep can drink out of that, a trough. Okay, well, they decided, let's get busy doing this. Oh, it was hot. Oh, it was hard work. It took all these men and they were dig, dig, digging down and cut, cut, cutting and chop, chop, chopping and throwing out the dirt. Went on for a long time and eventually there was water. They got to the part of the bottom of the well where there was water. So they were all really happy and they started to bring the water up a bucket by bucket like that and put it in a big long trough over here for all the animals. But then other people who lived round about came up to them and they said, hey, this is our land. You just can't come here and think that you can dig a well and get that water and you can live here and have that water. That's our well now. It's not yours. It's ours. This is our land. You'll have to go somewhere else. So here they were arguing though a bit. The men who'd done all that hard work, they thought, this isn't fair. And then the neighbours, all the people who lived around, they were arguing, oh, they were getting very kind of upset with one another. But in the end, Isaac said, wait, okay, this can be your will. We won't argue anymore. We'll go to another place and we'll dig another well. So off they all went, all the family, all the big tents that they lived in in those days, the camels, the donkeys, the sheep, the cows, everything. They had to go walking a long, long time till they came to another part of the land. And they thought, right, this looks good. This is a nice place for the animals. They'll like it here. Let's dig another well. And once again, they did exactly the same thing. Can you imagine them with the big shovels going down and tipping it out like that over and over? And at last they got more water and they uh, got the animals together and they got them all ready and all the rest of it. And the animals are having a lovely drink. Oh, this is wonderful. At last we've done it, we've done it. But once again, People who lived a bit away from the well but thought that's our land, they came down and they all got very angry. They were even more angry than the first lot of people. They said, this is our land. You have no right to be here. That water's our water. Now go away. And Isaac and his men at first, they tried to, you know, like, can't you see, you know, out, we're all thirsty. The animals are thirsty. We worked hard, did it. But no, these other men were so angry that in the end, Isaac said, okay, we'll have to go to another place. So off they went to another place. Well, everybody's feeling very tired by now. That was a lot of hard work but the animals are very, very thirsty. It has to happen. They have to dig another well. Because there's no river, there's no creek. The grass and the leaves and other things might be nice for the animals, but they need water. All living things need water. So once again, the men got all their tools out 
And down, down, down they dug, further and further in the heat. And at last they got to the bottom and there was water. And at last they could bring it up and start feeding the animals again. Well, for some reason this time, the neighbors came but they saw how hard Isaac and his people had worked and they just allowed them. They said, okay, we'll share this with you. That can be your well. We have got some other wells. So, okay, even though this is our land, you can share it with us now. There you are. And Isaac was very grateful. They were all very grateful that they didn't have to argue anymore and that there was a place for them to live and for their animals. And then they all could drink water and be happy and water plants as well as the animals. So that's how it all happened that Isaac, by being, he wasn't a man who argue, 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 and got angrier and angrier and angrier. But by being like God and being peaceful and understanding, in the end, God changed the hearts of the other people and they let him stay there. So that's wonderful, isn't it? It all worked out okay. But what's that got to do with us? <laughs> A good question. Have you ever had somebody who says, you can't have that, that's mine? Or have you said that to somebody? This is mine and it, I'm not sharing it with you, go away. That happens, we all fight sometimes, don't we? But there might be a better way. Now I'd like to tell you about Benny. Here's Benny, is Benny right? Whoop, no, Benny's upside down. Hello Benny, can, oh, there's Benny. Okay, hello Benny. He's waving hello with his mouth, would you believe, because he has can't wave his hand. So, here's Benny. Benny moved into a new house. Ooh, he was happy. It was a big, big bedroom for him. And across the road, there was a nice park. Oh, there was a lovely park, wasn't there? Yes, do you like parks, Benny? Yes, he does. Okay, so Benny decided, I'm gonna go over there and have a nice play while mum and dad are unpacking the boxes. So off he went, off he went. And he's walking along, do, do, do. Ooh, this is a nice park, lots of swings, slippery dips, yes, I'm gonna have a, ooh, what's this? And he bent right down, ooh, a nice ball. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. I can play with my ball, I can bounce it, I can catch it. Oh, I'm gonna have a lovely time with this ball. Yes, I am. But then, just as he was getting all happy and busy about that, he should come along but Millie, da, 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 da. Millie, oh yes, I'm Millie. I live here, I've lived here for years. Yes, all my, my friends and I, we come here and we play on the weekend and after school. This is our park, really, we love it here. Who are you? I'm Benny, oh, what's that you've got? A, a, a ball, I found a ball, I've, I've got a ball. This is my ball now, I can play and I can, uh, be at the park with the ball. No, you can't. That's my ball. This is my park and that belongs to me and to my friends. Give it back to me. Oh, no, please, please. I, w I was having going to have such fun and I'm just new. No, said Millie. Give it back. Oh. <laughs> and Millie went off. Oh, dear. Benny felt quite sad. Home went Benny home went Benny and he told his mum and dad oh dear and they all gave him a big pat I said there there Benny you did the right thing you gave you gave up the ball don't fight just go back and next time if there is another time just ask and you share and see what happens okay said Benny so the next day over Benny goes to the park and what does he see Exactly the same thing as yesterday. That lovely ball. Down he goes and gets it. Oh, oh well, there's nobody around. Oh, I can have this ball. What would it hurt? I'm going to have some fun throwing the ball and seeing if I can get the ball to go up 
and fall down into that hoop up there. So he's getting all ready to do that. Then who should come along but Millie. Oh, hello, Benny. Oh, hello, Millie. What have you got there, Benny? Well, it's just the ball. I found it on the ground again. Oh, please, please. Is there any way that you would let me have this ball? No, no, that's my ball and my friend's ball. Please, oh, Benny, I'm quite good at playing ball. I'd play with you. Oh, where are your other friends? Oh, well, they've gone away today. They're not here. Well, couldn't I play with you? Oh, said Millie. Okay, can you throw me the ball then, Benny? Oh, yes, no, I've got it. I throw the ball, Millie, back. Woo, Benny's got it now. Oh, this is a lot better, isn't it? We can play together at the park and share the ball. It can be but yours too, Benny, said Millie. So, there you go. That's a bit like Isaac. Sometimes if we just have a talk or we let the other person have something if they really, really want it, we don't then need to get in a big, big fight and get angry and argue, do we? We just be peaceful and kind and polite. Now, maybe you could draw a picture. A picture of yourself with something you really, really like, something that belongs to you. And you could draw a picture of how when somebody came to visit you, you said, oh, okay, let's share this together. It does belong to me, but let's share it. We'll share it together. That'd be a nice picture. Okay, I'll see you for another lesson another day. Bye.